President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. has approved the NEDA recommendation extending lower tariffs on pork and some agricultural products until December next year in a bid to tame soaring food prices. But some groups of farmers expressed opposition to the directive. Clazel Cordelia tells us why. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has approved the recommendation of the National Economic and Development Authority Board to extend lower tariff rates on various agricultural products like rice, pork, maize, and coal until December 2023. Even if a copy of a new EO is not yet released, some agricultural groups already criticize the order. The United Boilers and Grazers Association lamented the implementation of lower tariff this year failed to bring down the price of agriculture products, so they questioned what more is expected for its extension. Yung kita ng importer, maapektuhan. Gagamitin lang naman na dormat yung mga consumer. Eh. Kunwari, concern sa consumer welfare. Pero hindi naman tinitiyak na bababa ang presyo kung bumaba man konti lang. At ang cost ng pagbaba, kasi bumaba yung local. The Agricultural Sector Alliance of the Philippines also lambasted the reduced imported tariff. They worry farmers will be discouraged from stepping up or expanding their production. They also warned of a possible pork holiday. Uh, patuloy kaming mananawagan na kung pwede uh, i-amend o palitan o itigil yan, magmi-meeting kung ano aming susunod na action na gagawin para makita nila na kami talagang masama ang loob at nagagalit. Maaaring magkaroon ng siguro kung mapapagkaisahan, Baka magkaroon na naman ang pig holiday uh, dito sa darating na Pasko o sa bagong taon. The Department of Agriculture pointed out the agency's top priority is local production. But the lower tariff is a balancing method to ensure sufficient food supply while maintaining its affordability. Let's assure na yung pag-import natin nitong mga, mga produkto na, 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 na banggit sa 171 is really just for us to be able to stabilize, increase production in order for us to stabilize local prices and hopefully to, you know, to lower them for the benefit of everybody. The National Economic and Development Authority is confident the new order will help temper the rising inflation rate. Inflation rate is expected to reach 5.8 next year. The new EO will give the opportunity to the Philippines to attain an economic growth target of 6 to 7 percent for the year 2023. The DA said consumers will also taste its effect next year. From 38 pesos, the DA projects price of regular milled rice will chop to 35 to 37 a kilo. Pork belly can be bought at 320 to 340 pesos a kilo. Pork shoulder at 300 to 320 pesos or as low as 270 pesos a kilo should production be enhanced. DA is also expecting a huge improvement in the agricultural sector's production next year. We will be seeing significant increase in the budget of the Department of Agriculture by more than 40% which will be uh, translated into higher production uh, for next year. The agency will be strict in monitoring and preventing the entry of smuggled agricultural products in the country. More than 500 million pesos worth of smuggled agriculture produce were seized since President Marcos Jr. assumed the office. Five consignees were identified and will be slapped with violation of Anti-Agriculture Smuggling Act. A few individuals were also named after being caught selling hybrid seeds which are given free by the DA. Will be. Uh, coordinating with the Department of uh, Justice and Secretary Rimuja. With all legal means that we have right now, we will use it in order to go after them. The DA targets to establish the first border facility next year to strengthen border control against illegal smuggled agricultural products. Meanwhile, the DA stood firm it will no longer import onion this year amid the ongoing harvest season while ensuring an ample supply of rice next year. Kalei Salpardilia for the nation.